Hello again and welcome to ExpressionWeb.us. Today we're going to be talking about how dynamic web templates work in Expression Web 3. This video is a little different from our other videos in that I'm not going to show you how to do a particular project, just going to go into a little more detail about dynamic web templates and how they work. The reason we're doing this video is we had some questions about dynamic web templates and promise to do a video going into a little bit more detail about them. So here we go. Basically in Expression Web you can create a website, a pre-made website, um, by going into the template section here and then by choosing any one of these pre-made websites. I'll just choose one here at random doesn't really matter what I call it this is just for instruction purposes only this pre-made website if we come over here and click on the home page and I can click F12 to go into the view click F12 on your keyboard show you what it looks like this is basically a pre-made website that you can use and customize for your own purposes basically it's a pretty nice looking site pretty clean looking all you have to do is customize the content and the menu items to match whatever it is that you're wanting to do you can also swap out all these photos so this is a pre-made website that comes with expression web very easy to customize and tailor for your own purposes this website is built off of what they call a d dynamic web template the dynamic web template basically allows you to share common elements among all the pages on your website. Most notably, um, click F12 here again to show you, most notably these common elements are the masthead, uh, the background, the menu items, and the footer. You could also have photos and anything else that you wanted to be the same across the pages. So if I click on any of these pages, all of those items are the same so when you build a website and you have certain things that are going to be the same across the website most notably those probably would be the masthead the menu bar and the footer as well as possibly a sidebar um, you'd want to have that as a dynamic web template because then all you have to do if you want to make a change like let's say if I want to make a change to one of these things like let's say I want to rename this from photo gallery to photo galleries I can just make the change on the template and then it will update all six pages at once so it's a tremendous time saver headache saver actually the other thing about the dynamic web template is that basically how it operates is by feeding the content to the individual pages so uh, so let's say here what it one of the things it does is it feeds the the CSS style pages so when you get the pre-made website and you look under the styles folder it comes with three different styles so like let me just show you something if I was to change this from style 1 to style 4 well actually there is no style 4 so I'm just but I'd say there was but there isn't and I say yes what I basically done is I basically killed the link to the style um, the the style folders so when I go back to the home page let's take a look at how this looks I basically killed the style on this website the website still works but it basically has no style so all these elements still work all the pages still work everything still works and the dynamic web template is still in effect everything still works but there has no style it is the dynamic web template that basically feeds if I go back to my dynamic web template here that's basically feeding the link to the individual pages so as soon as I change it on here back to uh, let's say style 3 page here it's gonna update all the six pages with a, a, a working link and then I've got my style back on all my pages now probably the most important thing to understand about dynamic web templates is that they're divided into editable and non-editable regions and all dynamic web templates must have at least one editable region so 
Um, here, if we look at this page, the, you can notice my cursor. I can just come in here at will and delete. I can add content. I can do whatever I want. I'm free to do whatever. Free to type away. Away, well, spelling in this section here. But if I move the cursor up here, it moves to the circle with a line through it. This section up here is an un or non-editable region. And so you can tell what the editable region is, is because it's surrounded by this gold bar. So if I go to the dynamic web template itself, because it is the template, then I can go into the common area and edit away. So I can edit the common areas, the masthead, the menu items, and the footer in the dynamic web template itself. But if I go to an individual page like this, the home page, I can't. So the common areas are not editable on the individual pages. Now each page has its own editable region, and I'm free to add content as I please here. Delete or add content. Delete or add content as I want. And I can save that. I can change the headings. I can change everything. So every dynamic web template must have at least one editable region. Now let me show you something here. The question came up, can you have more than one dynamic web template on a page, uh, on, a, on a website? And the answer to that is yes. You can have as many dynamic web templates as you'd like. You can also attach or detach a dynamic web template to any page. So if we come here, this is the home page again, and I come up here to Format, and I go to Dynamic Web Template, I can detach. It's already attached, so I wouldn't, I can't do anything with that, but I could detach this. So if I click Detach, I've just detached the home page from the Dynamic Web Template. And if you notice now, when I move my cursor up into what used to be the non-editable region, it is editable because it's not linked anymore to the, dy the dynamic web template. So now I'm free to edit anything I want on this page. Now that doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense because I probably would want all these links to stay in place, but maybe I wouldn't. So I can edit the menu items, I can edit anything, and this page will be different from all the other pages as I edit these sections. So I can also go in and reattach the page. Now, if I if I I can uh, if I let's say I go up here and I want to reattach it, I just go to dynamic web template, attach, go back to my master page, and I go open. Oh, it makes that weird sound. And yes, it's okay. It looks like it might have done something here, but it it's still the basically the same website. So. It, it added some content down here that wasn't on there before, but I can get rid of that. But it's still the same website. So if I go back here, Def 12, here's my website. Now it added this in there, um, but it's basically, looks like it re-added everything. That's kind of funny how I did that. But everything else still works. just the same as before. So you also should know that you can create a dynamic web template from scratch and use it to build new pages.